Well, we made it. What up? We made it here and the car crunk up and come off the trailer, so that's a good plus, I guess. So we're awake, and we're, I guess we're fisting to figure out what we're gonna do. So, <laughs> all right. So uh, just ate breakfast, and well, some of it, and we're about to line up and get the day started. Yeah, that's it's almost flipped. Hey, Jay, he's over there. Well, we made it like a pretty good while. It's like an hour drive, so it's a one hour and five minute drive to the first spot. Luckily, the Miata's holding up, and it's shaky as hell. So. Way to the first spot. 
the Jeep. We went through that big mud hole. That thing hit the ground. Did it break off? No, it didn't break off. I mean, it's a Oh, it's broke. Yeah. Okay, so far we're surviving. They're still fixing the tires on the uh, Geo. And then our buddies at Slightly Mangled, uh, one of their axles, their axles popping, so they just took off down the road and see what was going on with it. But so far we've made it pretty well, I guess. It is a rough ride on the highway. I would not recommend, 10 out of 10, would not recommend highway. So he sheared all five studs. Sounds like kind of a on everybody to get back from the store so we can put studs in the van uh, the tracker ended up throwing a rod dead. it's just dead yeah. it's just dead oil was leaking out on the road <laughs> so, um, surprisingly the Miata is still going for now uh, I think we're gonna hit one more checkpoint and then we're gonna head back to camp <laughs> but yeah so we're just chilling
Oh, I'm not allergic to it. Really? You're so lucky. No poison oak, no poison ivy, no poison zumac fucks with my ass. What the fuck are you doing? You just tough some bitches, brother. I'll grab trees and Well, this is about as far as we've made it so far. I just climbed that hill right here. No, it looks small on camera, but it's pretty big. Whoa, my meal just moved. I climbed that hill, turned around, and come back down the other side. And come over here and park my car. Thought I'd take a picture of it. My camera died, and I haven't been able to put a battery in it. So, there's Josh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put a battery in it in a minute while we're going down the road, and then we'll go from there. and the steering wheel locked up and I went into an embankment probably almost killed one of Slightly Mangles crews because they come up on me pretty fast it was all running you know 30 40 miles an hour it's probably why I won the reward for the most unsafe vehicle there because <laughs> this thing is very unsafe it's just kind of thrown together so here's that trophy or here's that here's me uh, winning that trophy in this video here most unsafe broke vehicle <laughs> The Sean Wayne, Miata. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. What'd you lose? A carrier bag? <laughs> Half a motor? What else? Um, Scrubbed a bunch. Yeah. Lost some tire. <laughs> Lost a good bit of tire. I tried to uh, do a burnout on a bridge. And kicked it out of gear and ruined the transmission. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> ruined the transmission uh, mount or whatever it is. There Didn't fall out. I think it fell out. But that's why you just won the unsafe award. That vehicle should not be piloted on the road. No. <laughs> that's why I was like, you think you can follow me back to camp? <laughs> I did not it's want to not take easy. that route. I'm sorry that it just seems like I'm kind of out of it. Um, this thing leaks fuel. And I don't on the transmission tunnel, I don't have a, a shift boot to block all the fumes from coming into the cab of the Miata. I know it's convertible, but all the wind comes into the car so it comes around the windshield it comes into the car and then it comes through the transmission tunnel also so it just circulates inside and we had been smelling fumes uh, uh, gas fumes for the past hours like since like nine o'clock that morning so I had a headache on top of like everything else and I just did not feel super good so I was we had left at that point and I also had Taylor and them coming home, so we ended up coming home and I was spending some time with some family, family time. And uh, so yeah, I wish I could have stayed a little bit longer and I, I loved everybody there. Everybody was such a good sport and just great fun to be around. Everybody was had a great attitude and uh, I will definitely be back for as long as they keep doing this. Uh, Matt, He's the guy that runs it. He puts on a great show every single year. And, well, this is his second year. And it was absolutely the bomb. It was great. Uh, the first year was awesome. That's when we had the Subaru. That was my last video. It's like an hour and 15 minutes long. If y'all want to check that out, just go to the link below. And you can check out our first gambler. This is our second. It was definitely not our last. We will be at the next one. Uh, I did win the trophy for the uh, most unsafe vehicle. It's, that's not safe at all reward. <laughs> I will be adding something from the Miata to this because the Miata is not going to continue to be a gambler vehicle. Um, it was showing like seven pounds of oil pressure 
when uh, we loaded it up on the trailer. It was showing zero when we was at red lights. So I'm pretty sure something majorly wrong with the motor. <laughs> so the Miata is definitely getting retired. Um, more than likely it's just going to become a yard car. Uh, we do have fun here in it. So like I said, more than likely it's just going to be driven around the yard, jumped and do donuts until it does blow up, burnouts and stuff like that. You'll see all that in upcoming videos. If I don't build another vehicle, it will be the focus that we'll be taking next year, which will be a little bit more safe, a little bit more reliable, as long as the head gasket holds up. <laughs> um, we're going to try and put AC on it because it was miserably hot this year, especially having a convertible and no AC, and the heat was just beaming down on us. I think that's another reason it didn't really feel very well at the last part of that because uh, I'm literally blistered red. It is insane how hot it was out there. But I really did enjoy it. It was a very fun experience. And like I said, I will be back next year. And I'm super sad that uh, most of my crew didn't get to come this year, but hopefully they will next year. Uh, glad to have Josh along for the ride. Hopefully he'll be available for next year too. Um, all the YouTubers that was there, you are doing super great with your videos. Absolutely love watching those channels. Everybody will be linked in the channel. Everybody will be linked in the description below. Uh, go check those out. You'll have different uh, perspective. I can't even talk. <laughs> different views of uh, that the gambler through all of these YouTubers. Definitely check them out in the link description below. Give them a sub if you if you enjoy their videos, or uh, just give them a sub anyway. Kind of help them out. They're very, uh, very great people, and like I said, they have awesome builds, and you will be able to see their uh, builds along the way. Again, Matt, thanks for happy, having me and allowing me to be able to come and do this because it's super fun. I really do appreciate it, and I really do appreciate, like I said in the previous video when I didn't think I was going to get to go, and everybody that reached out to me and was able to help me or wanted, wanted to help me get to go to the gambler i really do appreciate everybody and i hope to see you guys next year or you know sometime along the way like i said i got that event that we're planning and uh, it's going to be pretty great i hope to see uh, a bunch of you guys there it's going to be great and i can't wait don't forget to like comment subscribe on this video if you like the video if you want to see our previous videos just check out the playlist is playlist below if you want to see that other other gambler build it took us like four days to build it or whatever <laughs> don't forget to subscribe peace